what's up everybody this video is going to be on <clears throat> my conclusion from my stem and vein taper so as I said in my previous video I tapered all the way down to two grams stem and vein one gram plain leaf per dose four doses a day Looks like I have a lazy eye I took some fun of you today because I'm seeing family I haven't seen in a while and it's very uh, anxiety provoking to be around. I don't even know how I go to work every day, but I manage. I only take the fun of you twice a week, tops. But anyway, so anyways, I got down to two grams stem and vein, one gram plain leaf. Once I started hitting the four gram mark, I noticed the kratom starting to work a little bit more. I could start feeling a little bit more. I got a little bit of a mood lift. Whereas before I was, it's almost like I was depressed and I'd take a kratom and sometimes I'd just get more depressed. I definitely wasn't getting a mood lift. So when I got down to four grams, I started feeling it again. <clears throat> I continued to feel it into the three grams. And then today was going to be the day I switched back to plain leaf. Um, I ended up cheating, and last night I ended up I ended up ending the taper last night. My final dose of the night, I ended up taking three and a half grams of plain leaf. Now, I ate a meal pretty shortly before I took my last dose, so that could have played a role. I barely felt anything. In fact, I probably felt more with the two grams plain leaf, one gram. Um, Plain, two grams stone vein, one gram plain leaf. More, I felt effects more with that than I did switching last night to three and a half grams straight plain leaf. So I didn't make a big deal of it because I already had dinner, and I had a big dinner too. I had two double cheeseburgers, a medium fry, just a little bit before I took the dose. So that probably played a big role, or so I thought. So today I woke up, didn't get much sleep last night. I woke up. Pretty severe restless legs. Well, I wouldn't say severe. Let's just say I had restless legs. It was enough to wake me up out of my sleep. So 5.30 in the morning, I decided instead of continuing the toss and turn, I'd get up and take some Kratom and, and start my day a little early. So this morning I took 3.5 grams of a strain that I enjoy, Christopher's Organic Botanicals uh, Green Malay. Barely felt anything. Um, I had a meeting I had to go to at work at 9 a.m. Before I left from the meeting at work, I took my Fenibut. And I took three grams um, signature green vein from the Kratom Syndicate. One gram, um, plain, uh, one gram stem and vein because I thought maybe the stem and vein was working better than the plain leaf for me. Um, I mean, I did feel something. I wasn't depressed. I was a little under the weather before I took both Kratom doses and when I took them, I was a little bit more just stable. I felt just normal. Um, and then I got home and now I, I try to stay to four doses a day and I'm on a pretty specific schedule, but I, I've been looking forward to today since I... I've been looking forward to today since I started my taper. So I was pissed when it didn't hit me like I wanted it to. And I've tapered a few times before. Every single time I get down to three grams, I usually stay at three grams for two days. And then I, and then I start taking, I kick back with regular, or I kick back taking four. And I'm talking three grams just plainly. If I've never tapered with stem and vein until this last taper. So I had pretty high hopes, especially after seeing Menthol's video where he said he took a big dose and he got nauseous because his tolerance has been so low. Well, I've been tapering with stem and vein for a week. I got all the way down to two grams stem and vein, one gram plain leaf. Lowest I've ever been at. And so I had pretty high hopes. And when it didn't really hit me that well, as you can imagine, I was pretty disappointed. So already... It's only one o'clock. I've already dosed three times. Every dose had the same result. Kind of made me feel normal. Um, I just ate 
a little lunch. Um, I need to get a good effect today. And unfortunately, since I have the addict gene, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get that mood lift that I want. So, my plan now, my next dose I'm going to probably take five grams, you know, I did three and a half, and then my third dose of the day I forgot to mention was four grams plain leaf. Now, that last dose was a, a strain that I had bad, I, had, I didn't have the best experience with, but I always figured it was because of my tolerance. And I have to imagine my tolerance is somewhat lower. I've been stable at three gram doses. So to take four grams of plain leaf, I figured, you know, that would be a good shot. The strain I'm referring to is the green tie from Life Force Kratom. Um, so I've taken green Malay, signature green vein, and... Uh, green tie all today already and the thing is the fact of the matter is I don't have too many strains right now that I absolutely love I got about three or four strains that I know work well usually um, and I've already went through two of them I used the green Ryu yesterday so I don't know what I'm gonna do here but I think shortly here because I had a pretty small lunch I'm gonna make a tea and I'm going to do a uh, five gram tea. And I'm going to see where that where that gets me. Um, if the kratom ends up working, I'll post again. Let you guys know it was just a you know a fluke. Um, if I can't get the kratom to work today. Tomorrow, I'm going to go back to taking three grams, two stem and vein, one plain leaf, maybe just three grams stem and vein. And since I've only been taking more than that for one day, I should be fine. Um, what I'll do is I'll, if I don't get the kratom to work, I'm going to take three grams stem and vein tomorrow. I'm going to drop a gram per dose every day until I'm down to nothing, and I'm going to kick completely. I'm going to, I'm going to stop taking kratom entirely. And maybe wait a week. See, see how I feel after a week. Um, but this is kind of unacceptable. I mean, I've, I've only been using Kratom since October 20th. Uh, not even. I quit Suboxone on October 28th. I was clean for a month. So uh, approximately November 28th. It's uh, March 11th. So that's November. The end of November, we'll say December, January, February, March. That's four months. And I've already tapered several times, and now the kratom's basically not working really at all. All I can all I can assume is I didn't have enough clean time after the suboxone, and that's a real big bummer. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll let you know how things end up working out for me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like, please.